Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, if you have a Jupiter or a Venus in Leo, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, Leos. Um, this reading is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do a past, present, and future spread um, just to kind of let you know uh, what I'm thinking here. And then I have kind of built an algorithm that I'm seeing is working quite well with people. So I will explain that as we get into it. But basically at the end of the reading, I'm going to be doing um, what is the seamless energy? What is just the energy you're being given as a gift from God, spirit, universe in order for you to have ease going through this upcoming month? And then the other energy at the end is going to be where your areas of opportunity are and then the last one is where areas of potential tension will be. So this particular reading is for the month of April of 2020, but it may go all the way out until May and June of uh, 2020. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, thank you for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly appreciate it. I just saw this um, Lovers and the Knight of Cups. Uh, Leos, you might be... Uh, in a situation where you're establishing love, you're establishing a new, you're establishing a new way to approach love, I think, or maybe somebody around you is establishing that. Um, but that's coming up here for whatever reason that just came in, Leos. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. Like I said, thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And for those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications. I would love to get to 100,000 subscribers by July. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to bring in more subscribers. So I'm super stoked about that. And for those of you that would like to be part of my website community where we get together, it looks like I have a tag back here or something like that. I know that's my hair. Um, so we have a great community there and you just pay a, a small monthly fee and you get all of the extended readings for one low price. So basically that's how it all works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my shuffle now and we are going to get right into it. All right, Leos, Leos, Spirit Guides, Archangels, Garden, Angels, send a message higher self. Please turn us now, please raise your information. So that we can start. All right, Leos, we are going to put your energy in the deck. So please uh, place your energy in this deck and I will do the same. Okay, Leos, I'm gonna cut the deck. So your first card for your past, Leo, is the Emperor card. So basically, as it relates to the Emperor card, Leo, you may have had a Capricorn a Taurus or an Aries person that was very significant in your life that you were dealing with, or this could even just be emperor energy. You were really focused on your fatherly duties, or you were interested um, as a mother uh, with uh, the father of your children. You were really focused in that area, Leo, for whatever reason. Leos, you might even be talking about becoming a father for however that makes sense to you. But this is all about stability. This is about commitment. This is about loyalty. And this is really what you're kind of basing a lot of your decisions on. And then we have the devil card. So what I'm sensing, Leos, is you were part of a situation where even though you felt as though you were large and in charge, you also felt trapped. There was also a situation here where you felt like, you know, is this really love or is this lust for power is what I'm getting here, Leos. And I... I'm just telling you what I'm getting, all right? So please don't take offense to how I'm presenting this information because uh, this is something that's very significant. So this could also be a Capricorn person. Very similar energies to the emperor. This is like an emperor gone bad, okay? So something may have happened here, Leo, is where um, you were dealing with an emperor gone bad or you were dealing with some sort of an addictive personality or an addiction. You may have been surrounded by people that did a lot of drugs, um, um, alcohol, uh, other types of addictions, you know, going out constantly, needing to be in a situation where you were surrounded by people with money or you had to be surrounded by people with a lot of influence. And now, I mean, and this is in the past, Leo, so 
I'm feeling uh, at this present point in time, you are really kind of looking at why you did what you did in the past. And your third card is the High Priestess. Absolutely, this may have been related to an Aquarian person as well. Their name may have began with the letters B or J, or their last name began with the letters B or J. But this could also be what you're moving into as you move into your present, because this is the last card of the past. So what I'm sensing here for some of you Leos out there is I feel, and these are all major arcanas, by the way, so your past, whatever path you're on now, whatever type of destiny you're on now, it is because this was a major phase of your life that needed to ski daddle on out of here, okay? So basically what this is, is now for some of you, your past was associated with keeping secrets. Your past was associated with keeping secrets regarding addictions, uh, maybe pornography, um, uh, multiple partners, that type of thing. Um, you know, even a possible cheating scenario here as well. So basically what it was, Leo, is, is maybe you were oblivious to this energy because it was being hidden from you. Or, Leos, you were in an energy where you were the one in charge and you had to keep something like this hidden because um, either you were protecting someone or you had to protect some sort of an endeavor uh, in, in order to make it right because you really are coming up as the emperor here. So for some of you out there, you were kind of holding on to information because you had to uh, use that information in order to get the bad guy, so to speak, Leo. So that's what I'm picking up here. But this could also be where, Leo, you were very secure. You were very well put together. You were ready to you know, be part of something that was solid and secure and committed. And now... You know, you're entering this this arena, or you did enter this arena of addictions, prostitutions, um, porn, I mean, uh, just addictions, food addictions, um, any type of addictions, body image addictions. Uh, there could have been issues regarding materialism and money, all of that. And so what had happened, it's almost like you went into this unknowingly. Now, maybe not all of you, but many of you became part of this lifestyle. And now as you leave the month of March, going into the month of April, you are seeing and you're intuiting, wait a minute, what was going on in the past? I may have been oblivious to, but man, it was not serving my well-being. That's just what I'm getting here for some of you Leos. Now Leos, if that is not you, then that is definitely someone around you or um, another loved one or something like that. So, so just kind of be aware of that, okay? This could also be for some of you Leos being chained to your desk and needing to keep secrets, needing to keep things um, classified for whatever reason. So now we're gonna get into your present Leo. So in your present energy, you do have the Knight of Cups. So remember what we saw at the beginning of the reading, the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. So some of you might be dealing with a Gemini person or an Aquarian person or a Capricorn Aries or Taurus. Um, you know, it could be any sign. I'm just giving you what is possibly going on here. Now we've got Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So, and again, their names could start with B or J or their last names could start with B or J. And um, that might have been the person in the past or that might be the person that was in your past now coming into your present. Really could be any of those people. But this Knight of Cups is ready to move forward with an offer of love. They're ready to move forward to say, you know what, I'm going to do this slow and steady. I'm going to learn as I go. I'm going to be able to see what I'm getting into, what I want to get into, okay? You want the commitment, Leo. That's what you want. You want the commitment at work. You want the commitment within the family, or you want the commitment within your love relationship. For some of you Leos out there, you are proposing here in the next three months or so. And then you have the Ten of Swords. So as it relates to the Ten of Swords, this is the ending of that which you have given your love to in the past, right? So you've given your love to people that just did not serve you, that had addictions, that were toxic, toxic people. And now you are saying, I am no longer going to do that. I am going to change the way that I associate with myself as it relates to how I give my love to other people and who I give that love to. And then we have the beautiful Two of Cups. 
So as it relates to the Two of Cups, this is where, Leos, that you are ready to make that commitment. You are ready to say, you know what, I, I need to move forward with this situation, okay? I need that partnership. I want that partnership. That partnership means the world to me, okay? So that could certainly be coming in here. And I really do feel for some of you Leos out there, it is someone, um, again, that might be an Aquarius, a Pisces person because it's right under this high priestess energy. And their name could begin with the letters B or J or last name B or J. But that is just what I'm picking up here. Now, the thing about it is it's also a lot about black and white. So Leos, you might be in a conversation with somebody that is really black and white. It's so interesting. I'm wearing black and white. But, um, but that's what could happen here. There's a very black and white energy to this. It's like, if this, then that. Is it a yes or is it a no? This is that energy that's kind of coming in and basically saying, you know what, I, I need a little bit more stability here. And in order for me to be conclusive with how I'm dealing with these energies, I need answers. I need answers. I need to know where I stand. I need to know how you feel about me. I need to know that we're moving forward and not backward. So this energy is coming up here, Leos. I am sensing, again, a lot of you Leos possibly... We're talking to somebody from the past and you are trying to decide, do I, do I um, stay with this person from the past or do I move on to this new person? Well, what I'm sensing here is something might be happening in the month of April where you are deciding once and for all, I'm going to cut communication with this person from my past because they're causing conflict and they're causing uh, some sort of distraction for me when I really should be putting it on this beautiful partnership, this beautiful union. And the thing is, Leos, I feel like somebody possibly from your past is coming back to offer you that cup of love, but you are saying, no, it's not happening. You you ended this, this relationship with me before. Why on earth would I want to go through that roller coaster ride again? Why would I want to offer my love to you for you to abandon me and backstab me, then want to get back together again. Why Why would I want to be put into that energy? Now, again, this can be related to work or this can be related to a family life situation, but that's definitely happening. And, you know, it's one of those things where this is, um, this is a situation where you've got to make a decision, Leo. And, you know, it's time because you have somebody in your life that's very stable, very committed, very loyal, very very much in charge of their life. And they, they're not messing around Leos. But for some of you, you know, and if you're a couple with that person right now, say that you're in a loving and happy couple, you're getting rid of the toxic energy out of your life as a couple. You're getting rid of people that no longer serve you. You're getting rid of friends that no longer serve you. Okay? You're in a situation right now where possibly for some of you Leos, you have a partnership that, it, that not everybody knows about, but you're about to reveal that, okay? It's been a hidden relationship. And now, you know, you want to move forward with that. This could also be where you're not telling your significant other, the person that you're dating, how you feel about them right now because you've been so hurt and so maimed from the past that you are reticent to offer your cup of love to someone. That's just for some of you. But what do we have moving forward into the future? We have the Page of Wands, and as it relates to the Page of Wands, this is all about fire energy. This is all about passionate communication. This is all about, um, you know, putting a notch on your belt as far as work, endeavors, entrepreneurship. Uh, this could also be um, that message that's coming out, like the green light, okay? Like you're getting this green light message, like this is how I want this done. This is what this means. This is your black and white of the situation, Leo's go. What decision are you going to make after that? Now, this could also have something to do with a fire sign child. So this could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo child. And this child is really giving you a lot of love, a lot of compassion. Um, even though there's a lot of people that feel like they're limited right now, uh, the thing about it is your children really are a source of great joy and great happiness. And, you know, having to explain to them what we're what we're going through right now cannot be easy. But what's happening here is I think that they're going to be more receptive and more understanding than you think they'll be when you go through and, and let them know exactly what's happening here. 
So this is, this is what's happening as it relates to what's coming up in the future. But this could also be a message of love as well. It really can be. It's just a message of passion and love and travel. It might even be a message of travel. It might be a message of Someone might be messaging an air sign, Leo, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra person. That's kind of what it feels like to me. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in the future. And the Five of Pentacles in the future is all about, um, you know, being left out in the cold for some of you. For others of you, this is a mistake. This is an error. This might be a mistress. I really feel, Leo, is that you've got somebody that's not letting you go. Now, that's not going to be for everyone out there, but I feel like somebody in your life that's very toxic and is very backstabbing for you, they are not letting you go and you are putting an end to it. You are saying no more. I'm not doing that again. I will not do that again. And Leos, if somebody did this to you in the past and they're thinking about coming back and you're thinking about the nostalgia, you're thinking about the good times, you're thinking about all this, don't forget what they put you through. Because I think universe is bringing this information in for you to take a second look at. There's a reason why you didn't work in the first place. Okay, so that could be what's going on here. Now, I think for some of you also, you have somebody possibly contacting you and blaming you for them leaving you. Okay, it's all your fault. You made me feel like I was nothing. You made me feel like I was in a situation that I couldn't get out of, so on and so forth. Now, again, can be work, can be a family situation, or can be in love. But that's what I'm hearing here. Now, for some of you Leos out there, the Five of Pentacles is not always a card of great loss and financial loss or whatever. Now, some of you might be going through a measure of financial loss. However, this is also sticking together through thick and thin. So as it relates to the other side of love, this is someone that even though you were suffering, even though you were, you know, put out in the cold and you were treated badly or just bad things had, had fallen upon you or upon them, you guys are sticking together. You're not, you're not uh, putting yourself in a situation where you're going to leave the other out in the cold. Okay. Okay. The third card is the Five of Swords. So as it relates to the Five of Swords, someone was playing dirty here. Someone was playing really dirty here, Leos. And Leos, I don't necessarily think it was you. I think someone was keeping secrets from you regarding a relationship. And now it's almost like you're saying to yourself, there is no way that I am going to go through that again. No way. And why do I say that? I really do feel somebody from the past is going to try to get back into your good graces. But I think that your intuition is literally like going ding, 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 ding. And what's happening here is you're saying, uh-uh, I'm not going through that again. You can give me all of the passionate messages you want. You can sext me. You can do whatever you want. But I remember what you put me through. I remember the lies. I remember the cheating. You know, I, I am just not going through that again. I am not. You're remembering all of that. And the reason why that is, is because you have somebody in your life right now, or you have an awareness in your life right now of what it means to treat somebody with respect and with kindness and with, um, you know, a good, a good measure of respect. Okay. So let's get into what the universe is gifting you as it relates to the types of energies that you are dealing with here. Well, what universe is gifting you is making you aware of what toxicity is. Basically, universe is bringing to you in the forefront of your face, like right there in your face, this is what is toxic. This is what is not toxic, okay? This is what commitment means. This is what codependence means. And this is what interdependence means. This is what it means when you get energy around you that is all about the sex and all about the passion, but there's no stable structure underneath the surface to be able to handle that information. The thing is, is also, Leos, I feel if you are currently in a loving and happy relationship with someone new right now or someone that you're very stable with right now, or maybe you've been with them for a long time, 
you're going to be hearing your friends go through this. You're going to be hearing maybe family members go through this. You're going to be hearing somebody that's going through this right now where they are discovering or they are getting a message or you are getting a message that someone from their past or someone from somebody's past that they were very much in love with, that they were very much committed to, they're actually getting a message that is showing the true colors of this person. They're hearing that this person is sleeps around. They're hearing that this person traps people. They're hearing that this person has a um, has a pattern of like what do they call that love bombing? A narcissist. You you've got you may have been dealing with a narcissist, Leo. That's what's happening here. Or you might be hearing about it. You might be talking about it. But universe is gifting this to you so that you can see what's happening here regarding how much are you really going to commit into a relationship when you're not going to get a return on your investment, whether that is a business relationship or that is a loving relationship. So the things that you need to put a little bit more effort into is, and, and remember, when I say that this is a gift from the universe, even though it comes in a package that may be difficult, it may be a little bit harder to understand, it's still a gift. Universe is literally giving it to you and saying, you know, all that praying you've been doing, all of that, um, you know, asking universe to answer your questions. Well, here it is. So this is what you need to know, Leos. And now you need to decide how you're going to move forward because we're revealing to you all of those messages that maybe you ignored in the past because you were being bamboozled by the devil energy. Okay. So where are the areas of um, great opportunity? But you have to put a little bit of effort into it. Well, the areas of great opportunity is being committed into a loving, beautiful union that is full of passion, that is full of caring, that is full of kindness, that is full of great um, love and abundance, okay? You have to put effort in this. This is not something that's going to be handed to you on a silver platter. You have to be the leader in this relationship, or they have to be the leader. You both have to be leaders. You both have to express to one another how you feel about one another. You have to express to one another about let's travel together. Let's have experiences together. Let's build new experiences together. Because for some Leos, you still have the residual energy of this devil energy in your head. And it's causing you conflict because you have more memories of the devil, you know, material energy than you do of this beautiful love and kindness energy, okay? So don't get pulled back into that devil energy because that is another area of opportunity for you, okay? You are being exposed to what happens when you become part of the toxic energy. When you become part of toxic energy, you get backstabbed, you get used, you get abused, you get, you just, you feel like death warmed over. Okay, and when that happens, then you feel like you're being pushed out into the cold. So th these are not only are these areas of opportunity for you, these are also areas where you can help others. These are lessons you've learned that you are now incorporating into your life. All right. And then the other area of opportunity for you, which, of course, requires effort. Like, so, for example, you're, get, you're going to it's going to require effort for you to leave this toxic situation, whatever this is in the family, in love, or at work. And also, there's something here about being honest. You're learning what it means to truly be honest in a partnership. You're learning what it means to not take advantage of other people, for other people not to take advantage of you. That just because two people are together doesn't mean that people are not keeping secrets for one another, from one another. Okay. The other thing here is you're also learning how to allow enough time to pass so that there can be a calm. And then if this person comes back and starts asking to be in your life again while you're dating this amazing new person or you're having this amazing new abundance in your life, you're literally going to be able to tell them, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I, I, I can't do this anymore. I have got somebody I love, somebody I cherish. There is no longer going to be this secretive, you know, conversation that we're going to have here. 
And I'm sorry, I have what I need. I've learned my lessons. I've learned what it means to be backstabbed, used, abused, lied to, uh, heart pain, heartbreak. I've learned all that about these relationships. And part of that is because I was either keeping secrets from somebody or someone was keeping secrets from me. Maybe I didn't use my intuition the way I should have used it, okay? But that is your energy for this upcoming month. Um, I truly hope that you like how I have changed this particular type of reading. I hope it helps you. And please consider going to my website to purchase the extended reading for this upcoming month. I am going to be clarifying, it looks like, I'm going to be clarifying the Devil card, the Ten of Swords card, and probably I might pull one card for the High Priestess, one card for um, the Five of Swords, and possibly a good set of clarifiers for the Five of Pentacles. It just depends. I will also be pulling from the Love deck. I'll pull some more general energies from, for you, and then I will also be pulling from the Witch's Tarot where I do my uprights and reversals. All right, Leos, I hope you like this reading. I wish you the best, my lovely lions. Take care of yourself. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.